Hey guys, we're gonna talk about something that I'm very passionate about, and that is gluten sensitivity. Now, you guys have probably heard of uh, celiac disease, and not everybody that's sensitive to gluten has celiacs and vice versa. Um, so celiac disease is when these villi of your stomach that lines your small intestine, they become so inflamed that they no longer exist. And when you use VLI no longer exist, you don't have the ability to absorb what you need to absorb. So that is a slight percentage of the population. Um, gluten sensitivity didn't used to be such a big thing. However, we didn't put gluten in everything. So gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye that a lot of people have a very difficult time breaking down. Uh, a lot of people, if they have like a whole wheat product that hasn't been processed, they're actually just fine uh, as far as the gluten sensitivity goes. So um, not everybody's sensitive to it, um, but we're asking you not to have it um, for a couple of reasons, because we're seeing if we can take down your whole body inflammation. And when we do that, we can help you achieve weight loss and health goals. So gluten sensitivity. So a lot of times food particles come in through the stomach and if the villi come in contact with it, your body is supposed to break apart this protein. So your B vitamins are supposed to go into your bloodstream, but your gluten is not. So the problem when people become sensitive is this molecule is not broken down properly and everything goes into the bloodstream. So we're gonna take that villi and we're gonna bring it over here to this larger one. So when we have that whole molecule there's this channel. You have all these different channels that it can go through. So when that goes through the channel, it goes into your bloodstream, your body says, hey, high alert, I have an invader in my bloodstream. Gluten is not supposed to be in your bloodstream. Gluten is supposed to be broken down, munched up, excreted. Okay. So when you get gluten in your bloodstream, you have leaky gut. Okay. So you may have heard that term. Um, actually, Western medicine now is calling it hyperpermeability syndrome, so that goes hand in hand. So when we get gluten that goes into the bloodstreams, we increase inflammation. When we increase inflammation, we decrease our body's ability to heal, recover, lose weight, and regulate hormones. So for these next few weeks, you're gonna be taking out gluten, you're gonna see how your body reacts. Some of you will have not really any different of a reaction and some of you will find that this massively impacts your life, but there's no way to know until we completely clean it up. Make sure you look at all of those food labels because gluten is hidden in everything. But if we're eating whole foods, healthy foods and not too much of it, foods without labels, you shouldn't be getting gluten in there in the first place. There's your little bit about gluten.